Welcome back, everyone, to the Hardcore Series. Last episode, we built ourselves the farmhouse, which is right over here. And we threw a cool little area up in the wizard tower. Today, what I want to do is fix the church. The church has been one of the last remaining actual procedurally generated houses in the game and i think i want to take out this whole area and build ourselves a nice little cathedral looking church i think that'll look really, really cool so first thing we need to do is we need to move all of these villagers in here over to the trading hall and just drop them down in there uh, i'm not really sure we'll probably have to assign them roles and jobs and stuff later but as of right now, let's uh, get them all moved over. So I'm going to grab myself some railway stuff, move them over, and then we got to start construction on the church building. Let's get you out of here, dude. This isn't your home, bro. This is not your home, dude. Not really the most exciting thing to do because moving villagers is actually like the biggest pain ever. And holy crap. Oh, I thought that was going to be straight down. Uh, Right there, right there, straight down. We're going to... We're gonna put that over right there. That'll be a better. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, but like I was saying, moving villagers is the absolute biggest pain in the butt, and I hate doing this. So let me just finish off placing these rails. Okay, so I got all of the hole drilled out. I just need to put a little hole right here. Sweet. Now we are back in here. So, like I said, I just need to go grab all of the villagers, and they can be on their merry way to go down in the depths of the pit. So, uh, let's start the journey of moving villagers, because that's always a great time. Well, now it's, uh, just time to begin the process, I guess. Okay, this, this ain't gonna work out. Wait, wait, I need this. Okay, there we go. Come on, just one guy. There we go. One guy. Alright, sweet. So, he's off. Let's, uh, grab one more dude. So, come on. Somebody. Somebody just... Get in the cart. There you go. You're off. Sweet. So that's two. So, um, yeah, just gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over until they all get there. And I might need to add a powered rail there because I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, nowhere even close. Yeah, we'll add a powered rail and get these guys going. Alrighty, so upon grabbing myself these powered rails, I actually made myself another stack of golden carrots as well because I was running low on food. And, ah, oh man, I, oh, I only brought one torch because I was like, oh, you know, they'll just connect them all together. And it, actually, it, it totally will work. We'll just, yeah, it'll totally work. We got this. All right, move along, my good citizen. Yeah, see, he's gone. Now he's grabbed this guy, and uh, we're just going to have to repeat the process a lot of times until they're all in there. Wait, what? Dude, no. You're supposed to go down the hole, dude. Down into the... Oh. No, they need the... Gosh dang it. Alright, I'm just gonna... Okay, I'll see you guys when I have this all fixed up. There we go. That's one guy. And that's number two. And we're actually gonna be number three and drop on down there. Oh my gosh! Okay, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I guess we also got ourselves a, a mini iron farm in here. <laughs> Why not? Wait, 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 no, 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 you piece of garbage, no, that won't even, that wouldn't even, that wouldn't have even blocked him off, gosh, freak, oh my, I hate you so much, I don't even, I don't even want to deal with you, bro, I'm not even going to deal with you, I'm literally, I've, I have so many villagers to do, and if all of them are going to start off like that, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to, we're being aggressive today, boys. No no more niceness moving these villagers. We have enough. We have a, an excess amount. Our demand is not that high for villagers right now. All right. I'll see you guys after I have a ton of them moved. How in the world did you change? It's because I never put any light in there at all, even though you guys have told me. Put light in there like 80 million times. Oh, my goodness. Why are you guys all crowded in the corner? Okay, like I said, I will actually see you guys when I have a ton of these guys in here. And last but not least, that is all of the villagers. I really wish I would have stuck them back in here. That would have been a smarter idea. But hey, we now have every single villager stuck in here, which means we now are able to start construction on the church building since all these guys are out of the way. So I'm going to clean out my inventory real fast and... uh 
start tearing down the the church real quick so i'll see you guys when i tear that thing down all righty guys let's start tearing this thing down And the final block. There we go, boys. So, the church is now completely gone, and we have a little space for building, which I actually think I'm gonna need to, like, dirt and extend this whole area out, because I have a feeling this thing's gonna be a lot bigger than uh, the way I have it intended. I kind of looked up some reference images on Google for church designs, and, uh, Pretty much when you search church design, the first image that pops up is the one I'm going to be trying to replicate pretty much. And I'll, basically what I try to do is I look at the picture and then get rid of the picture and then I try to build it from memory, which then kind of makes it so it ends up being different than the picture that I saw. So that's what I'm going to try to be doing. So like I said, I'm going to probably extend dirt all on this area and then I will lay out the base work for how this thing is going to look just like a little floor plan design so uh, I will see you guys after I have all that done and completed well I brought like uh, four stacks almost five stacks of grass and literally that's that's what's left so come on I was I was so close I was so so close I'm just gonna go grab a little bit more dirt and then I'll have the floor plan ready for you guys Okay, so here is the overall floor plan design, and it needs to be a lot longer than it is wider, but I have a, f yeah, this thing's huge. This is, this is a lot bigger, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a pretty big church, but it'll look cool. You know, the big, the bigger you make it, the cooler it'll end up looking, and that guy's going to his death. But, in order to make it bigger so it wasn't so square, because I don't really want it square, I don't remember, like, church buildings really being that square, because you need, like, the big open cathedral area with chairs and the, I don't know, like a little standing area or, you know, you know, you know how churches look. So what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to grab a ton of dirt and I'm basically going to follow this water line all the way up to like right there. And I'm just going to cliff off this whole area. So all of this area is going to have to be filled with dirt. And while I do that, I'm going to fill up this little area up here also that needs to be filled up with dirt because I have, yeah, this right here. So we're going to go grab probably a shulker box full of dirt and uh, I'll fill all that stuff in and I'll see you guys when I have that all done and completed and filled up. Well, I will say that wasn't the funnest thing to do in the world, but also these guys look like they want to put up a fight. Sure, why not? That's one, two, if I kill him, I might trigger a raid here, which I don't want to do because that'd be absolutely terrible. That's three. Okay. Yeah, I think if I was staying there, I might have triggered one, which would have been, uh, which would have been really terrible. So let's, uh, fly over to the, I think I, uh, hopefully this is, hope, I'm, I'm guessing this is close. This is not close enough. Okay, so yeah, we'll just grab this, give it some milk, and we'll get rid of that real fast. Sweet, so now that's gone, we don't even have to worry about the raid. So yeah, that would have sucked. Uh, I mean, a raid would have been kind of fun, but... <laughs> Right now when I'm trying to build something doing a raid would not be fun. Man, that church is gonna be It's gonna be huge. I can't wait to stand up here and look at it. It's gonna look ah oh, guys It's gonna look so cool. I have it's such a good idea for stuff to do I mean, it's not the funnest thing in the world to build stuff, but it's like when it's done It looks really good. You know, it's kind of like cleaning your room You don't ever really want to like clean your room, but then like once you clean it you're like ah My room looks nice. Okay, maybe maybe not like cleaning your room because like cleaning your room like sucks, but you know, when you feel like cleaning room, when you don't feel like building crap in Minecraft, then it's not fun. But when you feel like building it, then you're like, okay, yeah, let's build this. And then you're like, ah, yes, that wasn't too bad. It was some work, but now it looks good. So I'm going to start building up the walls a little bit. And uh, you guys will see, you know, when I come back with the, we'll see what stage two looks like here in a bit. Okay, so we got a shulker box full of all of the stones that I probably will need. And if I need more, I can always come grab some more. But I also need to just go chop down some more spruce trees. I mean, we have a little bit of spruce, but not really a whole lot for all the stuff that I'm going to need. So I'm going to wait to do this. I actually need the saplings and bone meal is probably the best way to do this. So 
spruce saplings. There they are. So spruce saplings and a bunch of bone meal. And I'm just going to have to chop down some of those big spruce trees real fast to gather up some spruce. Okay, so I chopped down four of those big trees and this is how much wood it gave me. That should probably be enough to build the roof on this cathedral slash church that I'm gonna be building. So like I said guys, gonna put out the, the whole like framework kind of the start of the build. You know, just the, the default, regular, normal stuff, you know, before it gets all fancy. I mean, you guys know if you watched the last episode how, how I end up doing buildings and such. So, uh, I guess gonna get that done and I'll see you guys here in a, a few seconds. Well, 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 there is the basic framework for how the church slash cathedral is gonna look. So, uh, yeah, there's kind of the basic, you know, the tower in the middle, the little side things. Pretty much copied the exact image that I found on Google. Like I said, took a picture in my memory and uh, just kind of saved it in there. And this is what I remember how it was kind of built. I remember, yeah, I think I tried to make the little tower smaller than it was in the original build. Because I kind of I counted a few of the blocks, not going to lie. But I wanted to make it a little bit smaller. But then I just kind of started counting it. And I was like, ah, man, that like looks so weird. And then I'm pretty sure it ended up being this is like the exact same size lengthwise and everything. So not sure about length, but uh, yeah, I think this thing is going to turn out looking really, really cool, guys. So uh, we'll have to see what it turns out when I'm all finished with it. So I got I got a lot. I have a ton to do on this thing. I mean, this whole inside is going to have to be decorated and I have some cool ideas for the inside. As far as the outside goes, kind of going to stick to what the picture kind of had that I remember. I have some cool ideas for like little flower pots here that I'm pretty sure that's kind of how they had it anyways. But um, yeah, backside, I have no idea what the backside even looked like. So that is free to my interpretation. And I think I have a, I have a cool idea in my head of how I'm going to make that look. So yeah, got a lot to do and a uh, little time to do it. So I'm going to start working on this thing. I'm going to build hard and uh, I'll show you guys kind of probably give you a little progress update about halfway through maybe when I have some of the stuff textured and stuff and then you know I'll do the the final the final texturing and cooling of making it all fancy and cool and all that stuff so I will uh I'll see you guys here in a second when I probably build on it for another hour or two <laughs> silly me thinking it's gonna take one to two hours <laughs> it took five or six boys and girls i am happy to announce that after hours upon hours of building it is complete the church is done everyone it is done i stayed up till 3 a.m getting this thing built and, oh, I mean, look at it. I just want to see what it looked like from a distance. That's what it looks like from a distance, guys. All right, so let's get all up and close and personal so you guys can see how much work I really put into this. It does look a lot. It is very, very similar to the, the picture that I got my inspiration from, but there are a bunch of differences from it. So, this is the main tower, and I put some glass. Uh, the one in the picture had a cross. I decided not really to do a cross, but, you know, kind of just like a symbol. Whatever. So let's start with the outside. You know, I got some bushes and then, you know, this kind of comes around and we got the windows and yeah, I got some leaves and then we got the back thing here. Another one of the windows and we got some back doors. Uh, this thing I fell down like absolutely a million times when I'm trying to build. <laughs> it was absolutely annoying. All right. So now let's go to the front of the building. Alrighty, guys. So here is the moment of truth. This is, I guess I can leave that open or close this. Anyway. This is the chapel. Yes. So yeah, got some leaves. Man, this this thing right here took me absolutely so long. I There's so many different things I was doing, but it ended up, I think it turned out really, really good. I like these little trap doors here because it gets you up just slightly taller to where when you look over the whole thing, it just looks super good. And I added a little smaller one like right here to the side and stuff. But this is the main the main big man, you know, the big man is here talking to himself. You know, I got some photos. I just did these little upright ones, you know. Uh, I think I think they look really good. Yeah, and then I got the, the same colored windows. I thought about doing them white, but I decided, you know, let's just keep with the theme and keep the, the yellow and red. So then I added some, you know, I added lots of vegetation. There's some hanging lanterns all around. Oh, man, there's some beams going across there to hold the lanterns. And, yeah, like I said, so these are the doors that lead back to the outside. 
And then there is these doors under here, which are little storage areas. So I put a bunch of bookshelves here, you know, like hold the, the scriptures or whatever the heck you guys want to put in your church or whatever, you know. What, whatever goes in there, you know, just a little storage or, or such. So then you come up the stairs and this is the tower. So I just did kind of a spiral staircase. I kind of messed around with doing some other stuff, but it didn't really work out too well. So I ended up doing a spiral staircase and then this is the top of the tower so this is the whole build and it looks a lot different from when i last was talking to you guys with the from the little jump there i mean holy crap i did i did a lot I, i'd say between the time it took for me to do what i did first before cutting right here to this segment to show you guys how i finished it i would say it probably took me about five to six hours i would say it probably took me about five to six hours to completely build and finish this thing off and i just realized i didn't put any like grass because that's one thing you guys have been asking me a ton of you guys have been like oh add vegetation add grass add trees you know like yes i do need to do that stuff so actually i, I do need to kind of place a little bit of grass and such you know around around here and i just kind of just kind of go like this and just and then boom like there you go now there's just little spigots of grass everywhere get rid of that and boom now there's a, a little i, I want to there you go now there's just a, a little bit of grass in the area so sweet guys that was man i am so impressed with the church like oh my gosh look at this thing oh my like okay let's 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 fly up and look at it give one last look in the sky real quick oh my look at that Oh, it's so, it looks so good. And the inside, too, is even amazing. Like, oh, man. Yeah, this thing took forever. This, my heart and soul went to building this. Yeah, it was, it was kind of nuts. I, yes. Oh, look at this. Ah, every time I see it, I'm like, man, this thing looks absolutely good. I'm so proud of myself, guys. I am literally patting myself on the back after this. It, it's so, so good. So I have one very dedicated individual that really was really wanted me to rebuild the church like i got a lot of comments from this man frankly there was there was yes it was more than five probably but mr pj rebuild the church there you go dude it is done i said i was gonna do it and i bet it looks 10 million times better than you thought it would it puts this little blacksmith house to shame the egg is is put to absolute shame like look how terrible that thing looks when you look at this like this is insane i i absolutely love it guys i love it and so now we have another building to add to the collection i keep flying up here just because I, uh, it's so it just oh it looks so dang good unfortunately guys though i think i'm going to call it an episode since this mainly took up all of my time to uh to build this thing like i said since the last time i saw you do last time you saw the building it was it, it took me five to six hours to finish it all off so you know as always guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new here as always guys thank you and have a great day see ya